This just in, Boeing's Starliner spacecraft is finally ready to launch astronauts into orbit. After years of development, testing, and overcoming countless challenges, the moment we've all been waiting for is almost here. What's up, spacers? This is your specialist, the Space Technician. And in this video, we'll be taking a look at the Starliner's journey. From its early days on the drawing board to its upcoming historic crewed flight coming up in May. All right, let's get into the nitty gritty of Starliner's long awaited crewed launch. Remember, strapping in is optional, but recommended. As many of you space enthusiasts know, Boeing has been working on this spacecraft for quite some time now. It's been a roller coaster ride of budget issues delays, and in-flight anomalies that have pushed back this maiden voyage by about seven years. Phew, talk about a wild ride. But hey, the wait is almost over. Boeing and NASA recently held a briefing on March 22, 2024, where they announced that Starliner is set to launch its first crewed mission in early May. That's right, folks, we're just weeks away from seeing this bad boy take to the skies with humans on board. Now, let's take a closer look at the Starliner's journey so far. The spacecraft has already completed two uncrewed test flights, known as OFT-1 and OFT-2. While OFT-1 had some hiccups and failed to reach the International Space Station, OFT-2 was considered a success, despite a few minor issues. So, what exactly were these issues, you ask? Well, during the OFT-2 mission, the Starliner encountered a few technical hiccups that put Boeing's engineering prowess to the test. First up, two of the spacecraft's orbital maneuvering and attitude control system, OMAX, thrusters, decided to take a break during the crucial orbital insertion burn. These hydrazine-fueled thrusters are responsible for adjusting the spacecraft's orbit and maintaining its orientation in space. But Boeing's engineers had a trick up their sleeves they quickly devised a backup plan, utilizing the remaining functional OMAX thrusters and the Reaction Control System RCS thrusters to save the day. The RCS, consisting of 28 smaller hydrazine thrusters strategically placed around the spacecraft, is usually reserved for fine-tuned maneuvers, like docking and maintaining altitude during re-entry. By combining the efforts of the remaining OMAX and RCS thrusters, the spacecraft successfully completed the orbital insertion burn, proving the value of redundancy and quick thinking in space systems design. But the thruster troubles didn't stop there. During the docking process with the ISS, a couple of the RCS thrusters experienced performance anxiety due to low chamber pressure. This issue was later traced back to misbehaving valves that control the flow of hydrazine to the thrusters. Despite this setback, Boeing's engineers successfully troubleshot the problem and maintained control of the spacecraft throughout the docking process. As if thruster problems weren't enough, the Starliner's thermal control systems decided to keep things extra cool, with some components showing lower than expected temperatures. These systems, responsible for maintaining the spacecraft's temperature within acceptable ranges, likely experienced issues with the thermal control loops that circulate coolant through pipes and radiators. The thermal control anomaly required close monitoring and real-time adjustments from the engineering team to keep temperatures in check. These challenges highlight the complexity of spacecraft design and the importance of having a skilled and adaptable team to tackle unexpected issues in the unforgiving environment of space. Despite these challenges, Starliner proved its mettle and successfully docked with the ISS before returning to Earth for a soft landing. Kudos to the team for their hard work and dedication. Now let's talk about the upcoming crew flight test, CFT mission. This is where things get really exciting. NASA astronauts Butch Wilmore and Suni Williams will be the first humans to ride aboard the Starliner, and they'll be spending about eight days on the ISS before returning home. You might be wondering, hey, space technician, which Starliner spacecraft are they using for this mission? Great question. Believe it or not, 
they'll be using the same spacecraft that flew during the OFT-1 mission, not OFT-2. But should we worry? I don't know. It's Boeing. But this spacecraft has undergone some serious upgrades and modifications to ensure it's safe and ready for its human passengers. Mark Nappi, Boeing's vice president and Starliner program manager, even mentioned that the spacecraft and its trusty United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket could be rolling out to the launch pad at Space Launch Complex 41 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida as early as April 10th. That's just around the corner, my friends. But before we get too excited, let's talk about some of the technical aspects of the mission. The CFT mission will put the Starliner systems to the test, focusing on how the spacecraft performs with humans in the loop. The test objectives range from evaluating the performance of the life support systems to using manual controls to operate the spacecraft if the automated system decides to take a break. Wilmore and Williams will have their work cut out for them, as they'll be testing the spacecraft's ability to be manually controlled and oriented during the day-long flight to the ISS. They'll also be putting the Starliner through its paces during the six-and-a-half-hour trip back from the station to the ground. Talk about an intense workday. If all goes according to plan, Boeing expects to complete NASA certification for Starliner in November or December of this year. This means that we could see the first official Starliner crewed mission, cleverly named Starliner 1, take off sometime in 2025. And get this, instead of a short eight-day trip, this mission will have a larger crew and stay docked at the ISS for months. How cool is that? Now, what about SpaceX? Haven't they been launching astronauts for a while now? Totally. SpaceX has been killing it with their Crew Dragon spacecraft, which has been ferrying astronauts to and from the ISS since 2020. In fact, they've already sent 11 missions to the ISS, racking up some serious space miles and big-time crew contracts. But hey, that doesn't mean there isn't room for another player in the game. NASA's goal has always been to have multiple commercial vehicles available for crew and cargo transportation to the ISS. Having both SpaceX's Crew Dragon and Boeing Starliner in operation will provide much-needed redundancy and flexibility in getting our brave astronauts to and from the orbiting laboratory. And let's not forget about the Starliner's versatility when it comes to launch vehicles. This spacecraft is compatible with a whole roster of rockets, including the Atlas V, Delta IV, Falcon 9, and Vulcan Centaur. Talk about keeping your options open. As we speak, teams at Boeing are working hard to get Starliner ready for its big debut. They've been busy loading propellant into the spacecraft, a process that takes a little over two weeks to complete. And let me tell you, fueling a spacecraft is no simple task. It requires a team of highly trained technicians, engineers, and some seriously cool-looking protective gear. These technicians wear what's called a scape suit, which stands for Self-Contained Atmospheric Protective Ensemble. It's like a spacesuit for ground operations, designed to keep them safe from any hazardous materials they might encounter during the fueling process. Once the fueling is complete, this spacecraft will undergo final closeout activities before it's rolled out to the launch pad. This includes things like removing access panels, installing protective covers, and double-checking the spacecraft's weight and center of gravity. It's like giving the Starliner a final once-over before sending it off on its big adventure. So there you have it, my space-loving friends. The Boeing Starliner is almost ready to take to the skies with humans on board. And we couldn't be more excited. It's been a long and challenging journey, but the team at Boeing has proven that with hard work, dedication, and a little rocket science magic, anything is possible. As we count down the days to the CFT mission, let's take a moment to appreciate all the incredible people who have worked tirelessly to make this dream a reality. From the engineers and technicians to the astronauts themselves, each and every one of them is a hero in my book. So, make sure to stay tuned to The Space Technician for all the latest updates on Starliner's progress. We'll be bringing you exclusive interviews, behind-the-scene footage, 
and of course, live coverage of the launch itself. Trust me, you won't want to miss a single moment of this historic event. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and ring that bell notification so you never miss a beat. We've got plenty more exciting space content coming your way, and we can't wait to share it with you.